when Zora went right out there with her family, I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe she's so happy. She will participate in their nightly prom fest where they all dance like a bunch of Looney Tunes. And the first time she did it, I literally almost cried because I knew that she was okay. <sighs> Honestly, I thought Zora was going to take over the herd. But I've never seen her lash out. I've never seen her bully anyone. And so I feel like she stepped back. She had so much trauma and so much fear that I don't think you can be the queen. So Zora was kind of like, right now I just need to figure out where my place is here. What a good girl. What a good girl. We went to the auction in Tennessee. Pretty much every animal there is in really bad shape. We saw Zora and she was in the pen with little Rio. And we thought, wow, they're so beautiful. She's gotta feel so much better. Yeah, she does. We bid on them and bring them home and give them a good life. And we get in the truck, and I'm like, never seen a llama act like this, ever. I asked some of the guys for help, and she throws him like he's a paper plate. We now have this completely Tasmanian devil of a llama in the trailer. So then I post them on this Facebook page, and one guy said, Zora's probably third generation Guanaco. Hi, Zora Zoo. What a good girl. Can I pet the inside of your neck? This is new. When we rescued her, I just went really slowly. She wants it so bad. Don't look at her. I started to give her carrots when I came through in the morning. She would look at me like, what do you want? And she would eat the carrot, keeping an eye on me. And this went on for a long time, but I think we're past that now, which is a huge accomplishment. So I have the brush. Okay to brush you? She is letting me brush her, and I can't even tell you how crazy that is. She's living her life, and she's okay. She's actually happy. Happy Saturday, Zora. Bringing her home was the right decision because she came to life. She has shown me patience, trust, kindness, love. I'm really proud, honestly, of who she is and how far she's come.